Hey there, it's Christian from SGN. Uh, I'm here to give you a little preview of this Star Wars Imperial Assault in case it's a game that you end up uh, coming around or wanting to play. So, this is a game very obviously set in the Star Wars universe um, and full of all of those characters and locations that you'll recognise from the movies. So if you're a Star Wars fan, it's a big plus. Straight away you're probably going to get drawn into it and, and how exciting it all is. Um, but even if you're not, this is just a really solid, cool, interesting game with loads of great stuff going on. So, how does it work? Well, rather essentially, you play missions. So, uh, we're going to play most likely the... there's two ways of playing the game. We're probably going to play the campaign way of it. Um, and in the campaign game, uh, you'll have a group of players who play as the rebel characters. So you'll take a character, you'll, you can, might end up being a Wookiee, or you might end up being some sort of grizzled soldier, or a young Jedi type. Um, and then you'll take your character, and then you'll go through a mission. And the mission will have some sort of set objective, and there'll be Imperial forces who will be controlled by one other player, who'll be trying to stop you from achieve your, achieving your mission objectives. Um, so there's really great storyline going through it. Uh, it really is one of those games that will come to life in your mind as you're, as you're playing it. Um, now, in terms of the rules, it's really simple and straightforward. It's got these custom dice that allow you to work out the results of your attacks. Um, and it's quick and it's, uh, it's a very fast-paced game. Uh, so fast-paced, in fact, that normally you can probably finish a mission in about three quarters of an hour to an hour. So if we're having an evening together and we're maybe doing two to three hours, then you should be able to get to maybe even three missions done in an evening. Why is that cool? Well, the big thing about the campaign setting, as much as the name implies, you can actually link these games together. So, and what you do in the, in the one mission and there's a fantastic variety of different missions available. Uh, it really has to be uh, sort of played to be believed. It's really excellent, the variety that they build into the different missions. Uh, but then they will all link together. So you may end up um, coming across, I don't know, some evil bounty hunter like Boba Fett uh, in a mission. And depending on whether it's an Imperial win or whether it's the Rebels manage to win, hey, if the Imperial player wins, well, that might be a character that he then gets access to for the next set of games. Uh, and so Boba Fett could keep popping up as this sort of arch villain that you guys keep encountering throughout the rest of the campaign because the missions can all be linked together and a storyline builds up uh, and not only that but your characters themselves um, they will also have a, a whole deck of cards, a class deck that goes with your character those have got lots and lots of, um, sort of upgrades uh, so you gain experience points when you play a game and you could spend those it's, is really quick and easy and you get to start building your character sort of how you like um, and they start getting some really cool interesting abilities as well so um, in, 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 a, uh, in a nutshell um, this is a game that is going to be mostly cooperative um, with a group of players playing against one other player which will probably be myself most of the time I'll end up being the Imperial player uh, and then you'll be taking on all these um, classic characters from Star Wars like we got Darth Vader and Boba Fett and Bosk and Dengar and all, all these great characters from the Star Wars universe uh, doing missions um, and, and trying to take down Imperial targets and, and all sorts of things so it's a game that will really come to life in your mind as you're playing it uh, it really is absolutely excellent um, and if you guys really enjoy it and you think this is great I'd like to play more of this um, well then these campaigns, there's one that comes in that base set that I showed you at the start, but hey, we've also got access to lots of other stuff here as well, because there are expansions that you can get. And they add a ton of content to the game. Not new rules, so it's all stuff that you'd know once you played through one mission, um, but lots and lots of cool new stuff to encounter and find out and enjoy along the way. So, that's uh, Star Wars Imperial Assault, and I look forward to playing it with you sometime.